Going to continue to follow breaking news this morning after a train hits a car near Northeast 10th and sooner. Yeah, Victor Park is live on the scene now. Victor, you said earlier that the crossing arm was working when the vehicle was hit. Yes, in fact, those crossing arms are still going off right now. You can hear them behind me. Look, if you are making coffee, whatever you're doing, if you can stop what you're doing, come to your TV screen and take a look behind me. You can see this SUV smashed underneath this train over here along Northeast 10th Street. We are just west of Sooner Road. What you're looking at right now is one of those what they call heavy rescue tow trucks designed to deal with situations like this. Very, very complex as they try to pull this SUV out. Here are the details that we know so far according to Oklahoma City Police. Jake, if we pan a little bit to the right, you're going to see a white Chevy SUV on top of a tow truck. Police say there was a family inside, three children inside that SUV and a mother driving. Well, apparently they say the mother that was the driver of that SUV was heading towards uh, eastbound on 10th Street when it slammed into this red SUV, pushing the red SUV underneath the train. Remer uh, miraculously, those are the words they are using. That's the words that police are using. No one was seriously hurt, just minor bruising to the forehead. So really, they say it could have been much worse, but it's not. Again, uh, this is the scene is getting ready really to clear up over here and of course we are going to stay on top of this throughout this morning as it develops but again no one was seriously hurt over here and that's some really really good news i'll send it back to you for now victor thank you now for a look at our morning headlines survivors who were sexually abused by r b singer r kelly talk about their experiences after a federal court sentenced him to 30 years in prison this happened to me a long time ago. I was 17. I'm 45 today. I never thought that I would be here to see him be held accountable for the atrocious things that he did to children. 30 years did he do this, and 30 years is what he got. 55-year-old Kelly is convicted of racketeering and sex trafficking. His accusers say he used his fame to sexually abuse young girls and children. NBC reports the grandmother of the Uvalde shooter is out of the hospital after being shot in the face. The gunman shot Celia Gonzalez in the face before going to rob elementary school. The number of school shootings last year more than there have been in 20 years, according to federal data cited in a report by the National Center for Education Statistics. There were 93 school shootings across the United States between July 2020 and June 2021. 43 of those resulted in fatalities. The data comes a little more than a month after the school shooting in Uvalde, Texas. Brittany Griner's trial is set to start tomorrow. The WNBA star has been sitting in a Russian prison for more than six months. Her lawyer says the judge decided Monday she'll stay there while her trial plays out. Griner was arrested after Russian authorities claimed she had cannabis oil in her luggage. The U.S. State Department says Griner has been, quote, wrongfully detained. Four people have now been charged in the case of a human smuggling operation in San Antonio that left 53 migrants dead. One man is charged with involvement in human smuggling resulting in death. Another is charged with facing a count of conspiracy to transport undocumented migrants resulting in death. And two Mexican citizens are charged with illegal possession of firearms in the case. Taking a look at your health this morning, Pfizer signed a $3.2 billion deal with the United States government to produce 105 million doses of the COVID-19 vaccine. The doses could be delivered as soon as later this summer. The FDA advisors recommend a change in shot design to combat new variants of the virus. And a 14-year-old tiger died at the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium in Ohio. Jupiter developed pneumonia after contracting COVID-19, had a chronic underlying illness, made it more at risk for the virus. As a precaution, the Ohio Zoo now requiring staff working with certain animals to wear masks. Today's number of the day focuses on former President Donald Trump. 31% of voters say Trump more ethical than most politicians. The Scott Rasmussen National Survey finds President Joe Biden's numbers are nearly identical to Trump's. 30% believe Biden is more ethical. These numbers reflect historically low levels of cynicism. 
Well, good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. We have an absolutely gorgeous sunrise here across our Trade Pro Skycam network. Just check out our Amarillo Junction camera, seeing those bright red skies here to start out your morning and some very comfortable temperatures as well. We are in the mid to upper 60s here for most of us across the state. 66 degrees here in Oklahoma City, 70s this morning right now for Ponca City and Woodward. It's going to be a hot day today, so it's pretty comfortable out there right now. Get outside and enjoy it. Enjoy that sunrise if you can because we'll be warming up to the mid 90s for most of us here across the state this afternoon. 95 degrees here in Oklahoma City with those triple digits out in western Oklahoma, Alva and Altus. You guys are going to be the warm spots as well as the panhandle as we go into your four o'clock hour. So it's really going to be warm no matter where you go across the state. We'll see plenty of sunshine and warming up very quickly. We'll be into the 80s by late this morning, 81 degrees by 10 o'clock, and then we'll be warming into the 90s as we go early early into your afternoon. Again, plenty of sunshine, not too humid, especially considering what we're going to be dealing with as we go into your holiday weekend. The big story here, we are dry here in Oklahoma City. We've had no measurable rainfall in the last 19 days. This is the sixth driest stretch of weather over the last three years in Oklahoma City. So be watering those lawns and those plants. Hopefully we can get some more rain in here because we do have those drought conditions in western Oklahoma. We are about to enter a new month, month of July, and we are starting off the month of July above average. Our average temperature at the start of July in Oklahoma City is about 91 degrees. We will be above that as we go into your July, and then as we end out the month, we should be around 94 degrees, but we are going to see some scorching hot temperatures as we go into the days ahead. Our normal rainfall totals for Oklahoma City in the month of July, just over three and a half inches of rain. Hopefully we can get some rain in here because we don't really have too many chances as we go through our your uh, extended forecast here. So for your 4th of July holiday weekend, we do have some isolated rain uh, chances for your Sunday. We have removed those rain chances for Saturday. I think most of us really staying dry. Wouldn't cancel those outdoor plans. Most of us will be staying dry for your Sunday as well. All of us, though, are going to be feeling very hot Mug and muggy. It's going to be humid for your holiday weekend. You can sunburn pretty quickly out there as well, especially out on the water. So wear that sunscreen. We're going to have a lot of sunshine and we do have those isolated storm chances again on your Sunday. Now for your Monday for your 4th of July, it's still going to be hot and sticky. It will be dry though for any of those outdoor plans, whether you're headed to Liberty Fest or maybe to one of those fireworks displays. We should have clear conditions, so should be good to go with that. But our temperatures are going to be in the mid to upper 90s and then rising to the triple digits 100 degrees by Tuesday and Wednesday. Overall next week just going to be an absolute scorcher. Time pass here, clear traffic update. Things starting to look better in southwest Oklahoma City. If you're headed near the airport or headed onto I-44 in that direction of Airport Road, things are looking better. We do still have that construction, but no more accident there. In over in Tinker Air Force Base area, this is in Midwest City. We're still seeing those delays every day, it seems, around this time. So if you're just headed out the door, not headed to Tinker, be aware that there are some delays there along Douglas. This is where that accident is right now with uh, our Victor Park is there. This is at 10th Street between Bryant and Sooner at Sooner Road. There is an accident involving a train and an SUV, so you'll want to take either Reno or up to Northeast 23rd Street. Looks like people are doing that right now with a little bit of slowdown near I-35. We still have a vehicle fire in Northwest Oklahoma City at Tulsa Avenue and 62nd Street. They're still responding to that, but doesn't seem to be causing you any delay if you're headed out the door this morning. Here's a live. Here's a wide look at what we're looking at this morning for traffic. Looks pretty good all across the metro. Never wait more than 10 minutes for traffic and weather together. Crews are still on the scene after a car was rammed underneath a train. This is a live look near Northeast 10th and Sooner. You can see crews still there. We'll have a live report from Victor Park after the break. 